Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this creative video, we will be showing you how to clean up an image in order to get it ready to be turned into a SVG file format image so as to be used on a vector layer. In our last video, we showed how to transfer any image into a charcoal image utilizing Kdenlive, Live and showed how to trace the image onto a vector layer. The SVG file format is the missing item or piece, if you will, that will lower the workload within the process of development on the Krita vector layer. Open Krita, bring in the image you would like to work with. If it needs adjusting like cleanup or resizing. If it does not, then you could just skip to the SVG section and start from there. There are a couple of ways that images can be cleaned up. One way is to use the Krita eraser. The other way is to choose the white color that matches the background of the image. I have chosen to use the white color. So let us take a look at the original image. It is a good idea to look at the original image from time to time, just as a reference. Although, if you are using a drawing, this may not be necessary. Do not be too concerned if you paint over a line or erase one, as once it is on the creative vector layer, you can replace it even if it is a curved line, as you will see. Notice I am careful of the headlight, not that it could not be redone, but it may be difficult. Once this is done in Krita and everything looks good, it is then time to save the cleaned up image so go to File, scroll down to Export, and click. When the next window appears, choose the directory to place your image in and give it a new name. Once this is done in Krita, click the File drop-down arrow, scroll down to PNG, and click. And then click Save. When the next window appears, I feel these Krita default settings are fine. So just click OK. And then close Krita. Next, in the procedure, we need to obtain our SVG file format so that Krita will place our image on a vector layer. For this Krita example, we will be using LibreOffice Draw. Open LibreOffice Draw. Click the icon that says Import Image. Navigate to where you saved the image to. Highlight it and click Open. Once this is done in LibreOffice Draw, go to File. Scroll down to Export. When the Export window appears, navigate to where you would like to save the SVG file format image. Then rename the image. Once this is done in LibreOffice, go to the drop-down arrow, scroll down to SVG, and click. Then, Click Save.
and then close LibreOffice Draw. Open Krita, then navigate to where you saved your SVG file format image and import it into Krita. Now notice, because it is a SVG file formatted image, it is now on a vector layer, giving me the ability to use all of the vector layer tools. For this credit example, I will oversize my image just a bit. In thinking it might be easier to see what I'm doing, so if you need to resize, go to the Krita toolbox and click on the Transform Layer tool. Go to the Krita canvas, dragging the edges outward and upward until you achieve your desired size. Go back into the toolbox, clicking on the Freehand tool. As you can see, you do not want your critter lines to be too big or too small. Also make sure that you are on the desired color you would like to draw with. While drawing the critter lines with the freehand tool, do not be too concerned if it looks shaky or you run off course. As you will see, this can all be corrected with the vector layer tools. Once you have placed a good number of lines down or as we have, go back to the Krita toolbox and click on the Edit Shape tool. Go back to the Krita canvas, clicking on one of the lines you have drawn. Notice all the points that appear. With each individual point, there are two outer points. These Krita points give the ability to straighten lines and or curve them. Sometimes points may be deployed too closely or there may be just too many in one area. This is easy to solve in Krita. If it is too close, just move by dragging the main point. If there are too many in one area, highlight the point, go to Tools and Options, and click Remove. Once you have removed a Krita point, this may cause a much straighter line. So, go to the one of the outer points of the main point, maneuvering it in a direction in order to get the curve you need. Keep moving to the next point online until all requirements are met and you are happy. Sometimes while removing a credit point or for other reasons, the line may become disconnected. So in order to solve this, we have to merge the points together. On the Critic Canvas, highlight both points. Then go to Tools and Options and click on Merge Points. 
If you find you do not have enough points in an area, click anywhere on a line, then go to Tools and Options and click Add Point. Once you feel your Krita project looks good, go to Layers, click Add Layer. Then right click on the top layer and scroll down to Merge with Layer Below. Once this is done in Krita, you can choose to save it or do more work to your project like adding colors and so forth. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.